Hello guys, my name is George and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create a login and registration system because at some point um, you would require to restrict access to different parts of your system and uh, if you have a system that everybody can do everything it's ridiculous by the way so in this tutorial we're going to learn how to implement some sort of access level, some sort of um, authentication, restriction of uh, access to different parts. Yeah, so I think we are going to do more, but in this tutorial, in this video, we'll just focus on authentication. So without further ado, let's begin. So we will start by creating the structure that we will follow. And uh, I'm going to be using Sublime Text 3 as my text editor. Feel free to use any text editor that you like. You can use Atom, you can use Visual Studio Code, and of course you can choose any other application as your text editor. But I will use Sublime in this tutorial. So let's go first by uh, create, uh, creating a folder. So inside your htdocs, you can new up a new folder and call it login and uh, select that folder. Yes, so our folder here is open now. So what we can do here now, we can start by uh, creating the initial page that the user will see. We can of course call this login.php and uh, save. So this is the, the, the page that the users will see the login form inside it. And we can also create another page and we can, we can save it as register.php. And uh, we can also save, we can also create a folder and we can name it CSS. And in this folder we will put our CSS files and you can also create another folder called img and in this folder we'll be putting our images yeah so for the css actually for the php we are going to use we're going to just like plain php and uh for html it's just html for css we are going to utilize a framework called boomer the, I will put the link to the website in the descri description and uh, feel free to go there and learn it if you like but in order to know the concepts taught in this tutorial you don't need to know Boomer, you don't need to learn Boomer you can use Bootstrap or you can just do plain you know, CSS it's just CSS, it's not rocket science Yeah. So I'm going to be using Boomer in order to simplify styling and stuff like that. Right click this file and open the containing folder. And then uh, I have downloaded the CSS file. I'll put the link in the description so you can just uh, download the file. So in uh, CSS, copy. Yeah, so we have Boomer set up in our CSS file, IMG. I'm going to leave it, it for a while. So we have login and register file. So let us start by now designing our login uh, page. So in Sublime, we have uh, Emmet installed. So we can just do uh, bang and tab. And then we have our HTML document. So let's say login. Uh, system yeah so because we are using Boomer we have to include it so li link src so in CSS uh, Boomer.css yeah so uh, we can now go to the localhost slash login and um, now we can go for the login.php so we have successfully created the login.php file so what are we going to do now what what we are going to do now is we are going to create the layout for the login 
yeah so we, in Boma we have different classes so we are going to start by creating a, a section so let's create a section and inside this section it has create a class called hero and after if I save it and I refresh uh, obviously nothing has changed but if I say is primary and I save and I refresh obviously nothing changes uh, visually but if I say is full height if I say is full height then uh, boom we have something now changed so basically here this section is uh, it, it, it has it it spans from left to right and um, I have just created added this class called is full height so basically now it spans from top to the bottom of the page so that's it so inside this uh, hero section I can now start uh, I can now add the hero body um, the, so basically this hero body it's a class in which has to be nested inside a hero class so you start hero then you go hero body now inside the body of this hero section we can now create a container container and um, this container we can now add a heading which is called login and if i save and refresh um, we will have this login here uh, a container called a login and um, let's have a subtitle a paragraph here saying please login below to proceed If we flash, we will have yeah, something like that. But this title here, as you can see, it's not a title. It's just like this text. In order to make it a title in Boomer, you add a class called title. Title. So if you make it title, then it becomes title. And uh, after that, now what you can do in order for this paragraph to be a subtitle, we just add a class called subtitle. We refresh, there we go. So after having our title and subtitle, what we can do now, we can create a box inside this container. We can create a box. But before we create this, I think it's good if we put them inside a column. So column again this is just design you can do you can do it your way so I'm just doing it so that it becomes um, nicer in looking so I just put it in in, in a column and um, so yeah let's put it in that column so after that uh, we can now create a box we can now create a class the box and inside this box we can create now a form a form element and in our form element let's leave the action for now we're just creating the layout uh, now in in Boma, in order to 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 have out of the box styling of the um, input boxes there is a convention of adding classes to uh, divs so we can we can create a div and give it a class called field and inside a field uh, div um, we can now we can add the um, another another div which is called control and um, after that we can do uh, now our input uh, the input also has got a class called input mm -hmm. now 
let's type text. So let's refresh. Yeah. So as you can see, we have now our input, which has got default styling out of the box. Yeah. So after that, uh, let's have a placeholder um, saying username. Username. And um, you know, to avoid duplication, let's just copy this and uh, paste it here. And we will change this to say password. And if we save and refresh, we have username and password. And thereafter, what we can do is we can create a, a, a submit button. So we can just say, um, below this field here, we can say button. Uh, Let's say um, login. So the button, if we just leave it this way, it will be just ugly. So what we can do, we can do, we can add a class, a boomer class called button, and um, is block. So it is, um, let's say medium, medium. So what happens right now is that we have a login button. So what we can do right now, uh, let's 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 give it car is info and uh, refresh. But we want it to span from this side to the other side. So in order to do that, we just we just add a class called is full is full width. So basically, it's full width. We just make it span from left to right. But it's good, but it's, it's very wide. So let us narrow it down. We can narrow it down in many ways. But what I'm going to do here, in this column, I'm just going to say is 4. So basically, we have 12 grids here. If I say it is 4, it is going to just take four grids. So this is basically four, another four, another four, which results to 12. So I just took four, then um, eight has remained. So in order to kind of center it up, we're going to say uh, is, is offset, offset uh, four. If we say is offset four, this means it will take the remaining eight and split it into two fours. So the other four will be on the left, the other four will be on the right, and the this column, which is four, will be on the center section. So if we refresh, then we have our div centered. But our text is not centered. So in order to center our text, we can just do um, in this container here, we can say has text centered. If we say has text centered, then it means every text inside this uh, um, div will be centered. Nice. So we are getting there. We are not done yet, but we are getting there. So let me pause for a while. I don't want to make it to bore you with long videos and then after this video uh, in the next episode we will now go to the uh, programming part this part this video was just the layout part the coming video will be about the programming part where we will basically now respond to the uh, user clicking the login button after filling in the username and password if you like the video, then by all means, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And um, if you like to be notified when new videos have been published, then by all means, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for you to be notified via your email. That's it for today, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.